Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to our Master the Market segment. So, what a week. We had CPI come out on Thursday, and remember, this is one of those five reports that Fed Chair wants us to focus on before we get to the next Fed meeting. The good news is, it came in one-tenth below expectations, and on a month-over-month -month basis, that two-tenths increase, you know, we're running on back-to-back -back months at the slowest pace of inflation in two years. So that's really good for us in mortgage and housing. Uh, the bad news, we're not sure how much energy affected the number, right? Like at the end of July, there was a real spike that may have not have been computed into that figure. And so that may bleed into next month's reading, August reading, which we'll get in the beginning of September. Listen, inflation may still be on the rise. As we shared last week, it may have actually bottomed last month. So we are not out of the woods as it relates to inflation. But the good news is Fed may be done. Right? We've had a couple of these reports come out, the ECI number come out below expectations, a labor market number coming below expectations. We had inflation now coming in below expectations. And with banks downgraded and now our debt downgraded, it would seem crazy for the Fed to raise rates further. So the good news is the terminal rate may be in and the markets think so. Right now there's a 10% chance of Fed rate hike next month. But what's really crazy, if you look out the to uh, December of 2024, the financial markets are actually now pricing in five rate cuts. And so I'm not sure that's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of news. And obviously, the markets are thinking uh, something weird is going to happen. But that is a story to follow. Listen, have yourself a great week. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.